In the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. I am Reverend Father Peter Ongu on how to read and interpret your dreams. Please, if you have not subscribed, kindly click the subscribe button so that any video I drop will get notified. Today I want to take a different dimension entirely, taken from the scriptures. Let me read Isaiah chapter 29 from verse 8 and following. Isaiah made this comment. It will be like the dream of a hungry man. He eats and then wakes up with an empty belly. Or like a dream of a thirsty man. He drains, then wakes up exhausted with parched throats. Now Isaiah was warning the city of Aria. He said, woe unto Aria. That was a city David encamped sometimes. So he said, woe unto them for not believing the word of God. That it, the wrath of God, Yahweh will visit them. According to what he says, you will be visited by Yahweh's Sabbath with thunder, earthquake, mighty din, hurricane, tempest, flame of devouring fire. Now this is what we call oracle dreams that will warn you. And God will always warn us because he has said, I do not wish a sinner man to die. Right? Let him repent and leave. And so God will speak to you through your dreams to warn you, to advise you on what to do and how to go about it. And he has used angels to do that. We have known the story of Joseph, the foster father of Jesus, and the husband of Mary, how angel Gabriel was sent to him to warn him about Herod. From Wisdom 18, verse 14 and following, there is also an oracle dream there mentioned. When peaceful silence lay over all, and night had run the half of our swift cast, down from the heavens, from the royal throne, left your all-powerful world like a pitiless warrior into the heart of a land doomed to destruction, carrying your unambiguous command like a sharp sword. It stood and filled the universe with death. Though standing on the earth, it touched the sky. Immediately, dreams and gruesome visions overwhelmed them with terror. Unexpected fears assailed them. This is also an oracle dream that God will always want his children to be saved. And I have told you that God is timeless. God is timeless. From the readings, that of wisdom, we are made to understand that God blesses the world at midnight. When peaceful silence lay over all, and night around the half of our swift cast, that is when the power of God will come to the earth to bless everybody. First thing in the morning, you can tap the blessings of God. But here I'm talking about dreams. So do not see dream as something very dangerous, very evil, uh, uh, devilish. No, 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 no. See it from the point of view that God is saying something to me. He loves me. He likes me. He cares for me. And so you have to key in. You have to follow the teachings of the Spirit. To full teaching of the Spirit, you communicate with God. So you have a time to meditate. God making us in his own image and likeness gave us that visionary spirit. Some call it telepathic spirit. Perhaps you are here and you're sleeping. You are dreaming about somewhere else. Or you will find yourself somewhere. That is how God can operate with you too. It's a telepathic kind of thing. But let it be natural. Because some of us want telepathic spirit by learning or unnaturally. It is not, if you do it unnaturally, you subject yourself to many spiritual battles. But if it's a natural one, it is God trying to give you something because your ability to, to envisage, to think, maybe comes at its best. Yours might be 3.30, 4 a.m. and so on in the night. So when you have a particular dream that is revealing that 
comes to reality, note that time when you had that dream. Then every time those dreams come, that could be a revelation God is given to you. And that is a God is timeless, but we have to calculate our own timing. Please, if you have not subscribed, kindly click the subscribe button so that any video I drop, you will get notified. God bless you all. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.